Ben and today I'm here to react to episode 4 of Panic on Amazon. The last episode ended with a bang, literally. We've had one end with a cliffhanger, literally, and now one's ended with a bang, literally. And this is actually the first episode too where the challenge is being continued on into the next episode because it did not... I'd like to say it didn't go the way that the judges were thinking, but I do have to also say that I wonder if some of the judges set up more of those traps just because it seemed like that guy had so many traps, so many different types. And after like leading them up being like, oh, rumor has it that it's like really trapped and stuff. Like I wonder if the judges are kind of playing more into this than they're making it seem because I think it would make sense for what we know about them. Oh gosh, and she's trapped in there. I still want to know who traps are in there. Because I feel like they want us to think it's Ray, but really, Natalie is the one that I would not trust, but Natalie is right there. And then Dodge, I don't want to think it's Dodge. Okay, so it is kind of a creepy cellar place, which is what I thought. Oh, more rats? Why are there always, like, something squeaking or squealing on this show? I can't take it. Oh, someone's walking above. <laughs> That's not fun. Who turned that light on? Oh my gosh, this is giving me such Resident Evil, um, the, is it Seven vibes? When he's going into the house? Ooh. Oh, so Ray's right there. So that, again, screams to make theory that I don't think Ray was the one that locked her in. Because whoever is getting in the house now would have to go around back, and she was in the front, so I don't see how he could get there that quickly. What are these now, rooms for people? Do they keep people locked down here or something? Who is this guy? It's like a bomb shelter, but like, why would a man like this have a bomb shelter? Oh my gosh, that's a lot more weed and drugs than I thought he was producing. That's like the tough stuff. Wait, what is all this? It's all their names? And their odds? Heather's at the bottom, that's really sad. So, someone's keeping track of them? How they're doing? Or at least what their odds are for how they're gonna win? But why would this man care about that? Like, he doesn't really seem, like, interested in the game at all. So maybe someone else lives down there? And that's weird. That's weird. Okay, says the girl not cleaning all the paintball stuff off the windows all day. Okay, at least now she's offering. Dodge, don't fall for it. We can't trust her. I don't even know if we can trust you, to be fair. But, like, I... One trust you, and I don't trust Natalie, so, like, don't start falling for her. Oh my gosh, why... Why does he have sunglasses like that? That is not... Oh my gosh. He's just like a straight 90s weed ad. We took the sunglasses off. Hooray! Huzzah! Oh, who is this? Look at that hair and that outfit. And the sideburn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so... what? Uh, if only you knew, honey. Someone told me that is a wig. I feel so vindicated because like it's it's not a bad wig, it's just once you realize it's a wig, there's no taking away from it's a wig. Like it doesn't hang naturally. Oh, she told her about it? Gosh, girl, stop telling her everything. I know you trust her, but... Ray as a judge. Come on. Okay, so that kind of goes along with my theory, maybe, that I don't think the guy that lives in that house actually knows about the underground. Because they seem vastly different. Like, he just seems like he grows weed and sells it. This one seemed like a full-on, like, underground drug thing. What? Um, I'm shocked that she actually gave her the $400. Though I do feel like she'll probably just ask for it back later. And, like, in terms of, like, I need $20 for gas. I need this. I need that. Like, I don't... She's trying, kind of, but, like, you gotta get over your own... Like, you gotta try harder, you know? I can't believe she really likes him. I kind of thought it was gonna be a case of when, like, the best friend is, like, in love with the girl and she just sees him as a friend. But, like, it seems like she really likes him. She... Does that mean she stayed the night? Because she was there before, right? That was who we met up with. They were in the woods together last time, too. Do you think they ended up at the farm? Because it looked like they were meeting up somewhere around 10, which is when the thing started at the farm. Okay, we don't have to lay it on this thick. Oh, Heather! <laughs> I know you're 
you're hurt right now, but come on, that's, you really just hurt a man. I'm still shocked she likes him. Like, I totally was not getting that vibe. I thought it was just going to be that typical, like, he likes her, she doesn't care. That's who I think his sister is, Dana. That's going to be really interesting. But then also, why is Dodge playing? Is Dodge trying to just win the money, or is Dodge trying to, like, take this thing down from the start, like, get evidence that he hurt his sister and take it to the cops? Oh, she's connecting the dots. Well, I, Natalie's a lot of things that I don't like, but the girl is smart. I'll give her that. And she's definitely connecting the dots that that's Dana. I just can't believe it, it's not more well known that that's Dodge's sister. Like, it's not exactly like they try and hide her away. Like, she stays in her house, yeah, but, like, anyone could go see her. Oh, look how wet her hair is from the beer. It must smell so bad. <laughs> Do you see why I'm not a party person? They look like they're having the time of their lives. And I'm like, Ew. oh, gosh. <laughs> Me and Heather had the same face. We're just like, what? Don't, don't say. D no one uses that line, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All the stuff out of his mouth. I like the little slap. They do have good chemistry. I'll give them that. Like, they really play well off of each other, the actors. <laughs> she really knows his number. Dude, we just meant like, what's your favorite subject in school, but okay, he definitely has a crush on her. Like, I called this last episode. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. You, There's no way you'd be able to think of all that stuff off the top of your head if you haven't been obsessing about that for many, many nights. Guess that got under his skin if he's remembering it. Oh my gosh, it's just so funny that like he's so in love with her and she couldn't be bothered. Like I feel like normally it's the other way around in these where like the girl's so obsessed with the bad boy and like just wants to get to know him more and he's the one that's following her around like trying to compliment her in the most terrible way but that's how he thinks he could compliment them. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Gosh, he can laugh. She's right. They're kind of cute together. I just don't trust either of them feelings like genuine So it's kind of hard for me to be like wait, what should I trust? Hmm. hmm Weird that she's thinking about Bishop, but seeing Ray making out with someone is upsetting her. Oh My gosh, that's so awkward. This girl's just having the awkwardest time of her life The man has a cowboy hat to complete the look. Oh, I'm just going to stop trying to predict Ray Hall because he's unpredictable. <laughs> she really heaved herself up there. She's like, eh. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, like, he cares an ounce about Dodge's car. See, he cares about her. He's trying to hide it, but he so does. Okay, um, we could have recycled that, but... That's fine, I guess. Oh, this is the grandpa that Luke was asking, too, if he was still alive. Well, that's depression, sweetheart. We can get you some meds for that and some therapy. Well, that's sad. And yet he's here with her, hoping that she'll give him the time of day. Alright, that's a good point. That is a very good point. <laughs> Checkmate. See, they play off each other so good, it's really funny. Oh, please regale me how you guys are a lot alike. <sighs> Way to woo a girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That doesn't sound any better, Ray. What? I have- I've got that sense from Ray, not from Heather. What? Is this like negging to get the girl? <laughs> He's like, let me talk about how everyone else sees her terribly, but I don't see her like that and she'll love me. I don't know. 
Well, that's all the boob jobs that they've had, Ray. Thanks? <laughs> what is this speech? <laughs> I'm confused. Like, half the stuff he was saying, I was like, nice, cool, like, that's sexy. And then the other stuff, I'm like, are you just trying to knock her self-esteem down? Are they gonna hook up right there? There are people everywhere. Speaking of people everywhere. <laughs> He's just right back. Oh, she was too. Okay, cool. Ray got the girl. Even if it's just for five minutes, he got the girl. And that means that the judges definitely saw you guys making out and can now use that against each other. Or at least definitely against Ray for now. Because I think he's way more into Heather right now than Heather is him. But she'll get there. Don't worry. Oh, I don't like that zoom in on the face. That's a little creepy. Wait, what? He was the one that did... There's no freaking way Bishop is a judge. Like, that would be way, way too obvious, right? Like, the one guy that has been like, I'm not doing panic, I'm not doing panic, is the judge. Like, there's no way. I just... No, no way. Maybe he's helping that girl. Maybe she's a judge, Layla, because I do think he was there. Like, he had the paint on him. And then it also could make sense. Maybe he's the one that saw Ray and Heather, because I think, like, maybe he went to, like, obviously go help out with this, but then maybe he went to go look for her and, like, apologize and try and talk it out with her. And then he saw Ray and Heather, and he must be pissed. Ray is probably floating on cl cloud nine right now, though. Like, the speech that he had... Half of it was good and half of it was like, I don't think the writers know what girls actually like to hear. <laughs> like, we're trash people. I've never gotten that vibe from Heather. Like, I know she's kind of like stuck in this town, but I think there's a very big difference between like what she does with that idea of not having prospects and what Ray does with the idea of having no prospects. So we'll see. We'll see. They do have really good chemistry though. I'll give them that. Like, that was really good. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments. Also make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!